Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video of Project Peanuts and I have another Deck Maniacs subscription box to open and review of course and see what's inside and I'm together here with a good friend of mine maybe you know him from the GP uh, video of course uh, well, well, well why don't you introduce yourself again I'm uh, I'm a file from your MTG um, and uh, it's it's good being here <laughs> yeah it's good to have you really and um, we were discussing the box uh, this afternoon actually over Skype and he didn't get his yet because he also has his own uh, 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 subscription box reviews but I did so uh, we were talking about it and we thought why not just join me on opening this box so if you haven't um, seen the last part of this um, go check it out and meanwhile we're gonna open this box so I'll uh, adjust the camera fire and then yeah. Let's do this. So, uh, the last book I had was already insane. And how many did you already have, Fire? Um, four, I think. Four, here. Look at them go. Well, I only had the one. And this one is uh, Zendikar themed, I believe. Yeah, I'm, I actually haven't seen what's inside, so I'm pretty hyped myself. Alright. Of course, we have the amazing uh, card again. Deck Maniacs. Oh. And we have. Oh, yeah, this is new, by the way. You have, a, a, let, let me show the viewers, a value card. You're spoiling it for them. <laughs> yeah, I'm spoiling it, but it is good to see about uh, what you get in the box. Of course, this is in pounds, but still. That's actually nice. Yeah, I, I think I've gotten those yeah. every time. But I don't know about you. <laughs> uh, no, uh, the last one just had the, the, the one card. And uh, mm. we start off with a foil blighted fan in an Ulamog sleeve. Look at this. Yeah. It's probably because I did the uh, unboxing of the last one, I believe. Because yeah, they, sometimes they send out they send out these random cards in the people's boxes, and you yeah. can get luck. Huh. All right. Another awesome thing. Let's start again with a new notepad. Uh, this is a blank uh, notepad, just with uh, the uh, mana symbols on top. That's that. That's one of those token pads. You draw a token, and you then you draw a circle around which color it is. What? <laughs> okay. Well, you learn every day. We have we have Ulamog sleeves, 80 of them, from the Ultra Pro, which is pretty cool because Ulamog is the best. They look great. Obviously. Always nice to have extra sleeves. And what else do we got? We got more Ulamog stuff. We got the Ulamog deck box. Also from Ultra Pro. Yeah. It's it's the one where you like slide it open like like that instead yeah. of just the and box. And you get a divider inside it too, which yes. is that is true. Oh, it's good to have you here. If I didn't have you here, oh. <laughs> and here we have, geez, well, you already saw it in the card, but we have nine Battle for Zendikar boosters. Exciting. Yes, so let's see what we pull from that. And oh, hold on a minute. We have two uh, six sided dies. Hmm. What? Only two? <laughs> uh, you usually get like two of those in some of the boxes, I've noticed, but I, I really, I need those. I always manage to lose mine, so it's always great having them. Exactly, so some spares are uh, not bad. And now, uh, Dagmane has also uh, se sent me um, a, a document with things to say, but I totally ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> But I hope it's that it's okay. I'll put uh, every de uh, detail but down I below. Think one thing we should let people know is that they now ship to Europe. Right. Yes. And they have uh, decreased the shipping price from seven pounds to three fifty. That's something I learned today as well because I was talking about it. So shipping only is three pounds, which is which is around uh, I don't know five six euros instead of the seven pounds, which is more than ten euros. So that's a good uh, good thing. Uh, less is better, obviously. Uh, why don't we just start with the packs now? Right? Exciting. Yeah? <laughs> we start off with the first Zendikar pack. I'm not gonna go through them really thoroughly, but I will. Let me zoom in a little bit on your face and me. Alright, uh, we have all, all the commons and everything. If there's something important, I'll zoom in on it, but for now. We have the first time coming is Juddy Offshoot, which is my favorite. What? You know it. It's it's pretty cool. I like it. I, I like it too. We have a Stasis Nair, which is uh, also a, a good card. Herald of Kozilek, which helps you with colorless spells. You also know, good is it colors? Yes. Yeah. 
And as rare, we have an Oran Reef Hydra, again. Um, yeah, well, it's draftable, but that's it. It's draftable. We have, of course, a Full Art Land. And is there something else? No, an Eldrazi Scion. First booster, not too bad. Jody it always off. feels great getting uh, Full Art Lands in every single pack, you know? Agreed. Second pack, well, let's just skip through the commons. Uh, Bloodbond Vampire, which is the life gain ally card, not too bad. Titan's Presence, another Blighted Fan, but I also have it foil now, so pff, whatever. <laughs> and the rare is a Canopy Vista. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yes, lands are also good. The Full Art Land and an Elemental Token for Omnath. Canopy Vista, that's a good start. Oh, man. So, what do you think of uh, the content? Meanwhile, when uh, while I'm unboxing these, uh, I I enjoy them. I enjoy uh, having uh, uh, themed uh, boxes with every new set, mm -hmm. and I think that's something they they should uh, continue on and uh, improve on. Yeah, me too. Because it gives a little bit more extra, right? In, in yeah. the box than just boosters. And it would be fun if you got all Ulamog stuff, right? Ulamog. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then uh, some other people might get only Gideon or only Fiora. That'd be cool as well. Yeah, that would be uh, awesome. Maybe, I don't even know. Because there are like, uh, oh, there are three, right? Uh, Ulamog, yeah. Gideon, and Fiora. Yes. The last rare was Beast Colors event, by the way. Okay. That, I, that's a cool, cool one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like that too. It's playable as well. Uh, Hedron Archive as most. And another Woodland Wanderer. Of course. Good card. But I have too much of those. Another forward land and nothing else. No foils yet. So we already had four boosters now. Five to go. It always seems like a big pile when you open them, huh? Yeah. It's like a mini fat pack, really. Nine boosters, that's... Yeah, that's a fat pack. Mm -hmm. Getting one of those each month. Pretty cool. <laughs> Skitter skin, processor assault, and pff, shrine of the forsaken gods. I hate this <laughs> card. But I think we now we don't. <laughs> Mountain. Oh. Shrine of the forsaken gods is good in uh, the new standard ramp deck. Which is something. Else. Yeah, but besides that, there's nothing. That's the most useful card now. <laughs> All right. I do have to apologize that it's not as close as, as it normally is, but of course you want to see Thyre's face when I pull that <laughs> amazing foil card. No. Crumble to Dust, I like that. Ruination Guide. And a Lumbering Falls. Cool. The Manland, yes. All the and. Oh god, dude. Oh, dude. I just said, what is it? It's the Polluted Delta. No. Yeah. Oh, oh, no way! No way! Dude. Oh god! Let me grab a sleeve. No way! Get the sleeve! Wow! Right. It it doesn't happen a lot that when we're together, and oh. we're getting this card. So here you have it. This is my first uh, expedition land, and um, well, yeah. I think it just gave you like 200 bucks. I know. Well, what? Yeah, oh yeah, this is one of the most, right? Yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Well, this uh, is... So jealous, so jealous. <laughs> this video. I think Deck Maniacs oh, themselves are gonna lose their minds. All right, but we still have three more uh, boosters uh, to go. These packs are just icing on the cake. You can give them away. Yep. Give them to homeless people. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Jeez. Well, at least I have something to do with... Uh, uh, to, to trade it on the GP, right? Yeah. Maybe. Uh, what else do we have? We have some allies, Resolute Blade Master and a Desolation Twin. Together with another full art line, of course. <laughs> <You're the Delta>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have to say, normally when I see those posts about it or videos about the Expedition Lands, I think, Gah, it's not all about the lands, but it, g getting one in a pack is, uh, well, insane. it's insane. Exactly, that's, that's the right word for it. We have a retreat to Coral Helm, which is awesome. Hydran Archive again. Sad Leopard and ooh, nice, a Fathom Feeder. This is I like uh, that card. Me too. This is one of my favorites from the set actually. 
I would I would really like to build something around that card. It's so cool. Yeah, it's it's, it's really annoying as well. You know, it's uh, it reminds me of that Bill for Strix back in the yeah, exactly. It's good both early game and late game. Uh huh. Lost the cards later on. So. And this will be the last booster. Jeez. This is some video. Crazy man, crazy. Uh, we have a Rising Miasma, another Skitter Skin, and one of the best draft cards ever, Wind Rider Patrol, which is oh, the 4-3 awesome. flyer, holy balls. And, whoa, do you hear that? Yeah. That's what Cats that? Fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Hero of Goma Fada, and a Fuard Land, and that's it. <laughs> jeez, balls. Well, let's take one more last look, because, jeez. Don't know what I'm gonna do with it. All right, a quick recap though: uh, the box, sleeves, uh, the token notepad, two dice for well reserves maybe, <laughs> and the foil blighted fen. So it's really nice that they give you some extra besides the normal stuff. And yeah, um, nice. now with the shipping and the growing of their uh, community, it's uh, yeah I think it's really cool that they're doing this, and I think they are, have a lot of potential of becoming bigger because. As you see, I'll show you the value card once again. This is what you get in the pack. And, well, yeah, it's it's, it's not that bad without the large shipping cost, right? No, it, it's you, better. Still, you still earn on it. So. Uh -huh. so much for this amazing unboxing in the end. We have uh, Tyre together with the amazing pulls of the, of the Expedition Land. And, um, yeah, if you want to know more about Deck Maniacs and the prices and everything, go to their website and see if it's something for you. Uh, you can also check uh, Thyrus videos about uh, the boxes because you had four, so you can see the differences in between. Because you you once had a dual deck, right, or something? Yeah, yeah, I've gotten two dual decks so far. Two dual decks, well, so that's a big difference uh, than uh, just boosters. So yeah. ch uh, check them out, and also don't forget about our GP plans. Uh, the event page is down below in the description. Check it out. Meet us up. Yeah, yeah, meet us up exactly. And uh, you also made a video about it, so if you want to check that out, go ahead. And uh, yeah, I guess that that's uh, that's a wrap up. Would you like to say something? Um, <laughs> check Dick Manax out. They're, they are on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and everything, so they have lots of social media and they're very active in uh, uh, responding to your comments and everything. So you should True. you should talk to them. Yeah, just do it and see what you can. Uh, Get maybe if you run your own YouTube thing or you want to do a review, go ahead and just ask him. Anyway, uh, thanks again. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you until the next video. Fire, may I thank you for being here? It was fun. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, later. <laughs>